52 and 1. This is it, the three year old Colt Trot of the Cadillac Breeders Crown Divisional Honors likely on the line. Track announcer Larry Letterman with the call from Garden State Park. Here they come. Jr. Ralph Del Fiore Jr. from Syracuse, New York, trained by Chuck Sylvester, who is just a genius with trotters, and driven to victory by an Italian driver, Italio Tamburino, and this homebred, a lot of people didn't give him much respect tonight, Gary, but what an upset. Well, I'll tell you what his driver did, Italia Tamburino, because he went right to the front with Incredible Abe, then got the cover of Victory Dream, and Victory Dream, you see here, leading the field down the scratch, and I think Mike Lachance probably figured that he was going to hang on. He had to get into him here, but Incredible Abe vacates the pocket, comes on once again. He is a very speedy trotter. He has had problems in the past making breaks, didn't do it tonight, and just perfect to the finish, and just nipping Victory Dream, leaving that three-year-old picture still wide open. Incredible Abe set a world record for three-year-olds at Delaware, Ohio on September 18th on a half-mile track. He's also won the Bluegrass in the Transylvania this year, but he was not considered a major factor coming into the race, and yet, incredible Abe and Italio Tamburino get to the wire first. An incredible upset in the three-year-old Colt Tron of the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, and it was turned in by Incredible Abe. 24 to 1 from the extreme outside post. He defeats Victory Dream in the deep. Incredible Abe, owned by Morris Feldman, St. Lazar, Quebec, and Ralph J. Del Priori of Syracuse, New York. Read by Morris Feldman, who says it's the best horse I've ever owned in 17 years. We've never had one of this caliber. Well, I think his words were right, Gary. No question about it. You know, Bruce, the three fastest trotting crown miles of all time, you know who the trainer is? One quick guess, Chuck Sylvester. Chuck Sylvester does it again in the Breeders' Crown. Incredible Abe, one of his charges, along with Westgate Crown, and Incredible Abe is the winner. You know, in the Kentucky Viturity in the second heat, he hit Victory Dream, knocked them both off stride, and they ended up not being a factor. That's right. You know, Incredible Abe, as I said earlier, has a great deal of speed, but he has had problems in 1994 in making breaks. And last year was very, very consistent. He had 11 wins and 15 starts. This year, just four and 15 until tonight when he picked up probably the biggest win of his career. The crowning point, Colt, 
out of the incredible Neville Mayor, incredible sassy. Let's go to Frank Drucker. Okay, Bruce, thanks very much. Incredibly, incredibly gets it done at 24 to 1. Chuck Sylvester, this horse came into your barn in midsummer. What did you do? Well, it's been a long summer. Uh, we, we've had a lot of bad luck with him, but he's, he's been putting it together here the last three, four weeks. And he raced tremendous at Kentucky last week, and we knew he was ready. And the nine hole kind of scared us, but uh, we imported uh, uh, Tamarino over here, and he's known as the Rocket over there. And he sent him out of the gate and got a good position, so he did a great job. We were thankful for the win. And the Rocket he was. Tom Patrick, Mid Atlantic Zone Manager, Cadillac Motor Car Division. Ralph Feldman, excuse me, Morris Feldman, forgive me, co-owner of Incredible Lave. This is a horse that may very well be sold, and what better advertisement? What a great name. What a great race. Congratulations. Morris, you've got a lot of relatives up in Canada. What would you like to tell them? Well, I've been telling them all year that we're going to come through sooner or later, and just as well be now. It just as well be now winning the Breeders' Crown. Bruce, it's all yours. Incredible Abe wins the three-year-old Colt Trot in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. We'll be back. So it's Incredible Abe who wins and surprises Victory Dream and Bull Bill Victory and lights up the tote board. Let's take a look at the returning prices. Incredible Abe, 5180 1580 and $14 to show. Victory Dream, 440 and 520 Prices are okay. Golly 2, $8.40 to show. The time, 1, 54 and 1, and the exacta, 8 and 3. A nice return there. $355 even. Final order of finish, Smasher was fourth, Woodman was fifth, Gumball rolling a little bit late, didn't get there, he finished sixth, Westgate Crown was seventh, Bullville Victory off stride was eighth, Whiteland Image also off stride, finished ninth. Another <laughs> shot of incredible aid. As Gary mentioned, as a two-year-old, 11 for 15 in the wind department, 279,000. And now as a three-year-old, five for 16. But he picks the best time to come up with that fifth win. <laughs>